Coming up on this week's episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. No horses too, I bet. No, there's not other horses anywhere near there. You're just leading him to his awfully gruesome death. I can't, I can't be that mad at the horses, though, man. We've been screwing them over for a while. It was about time that they took some, uh, took some revenge on us. Toss Rick onto that rebar. Oh, the road again. This is such an iconic shot. Watch The Walking Dead. Alright, what is going on everyone? It is Jack. Today we're going to be checking out the pilot of the show that started it all. Season 1, Episode 1 of The Walking Dead. Days gone by. Now, if we look back on it, say 2010 Halloween I was about 13 maybe yeah I was 13 when this show started 13 <laughs> is it middle school still I think I'm about to graduate college it's kind of a fitting title for the pilot now that I think about it. I'm not gonna lie, when I first watched this show, when I first watched this show, I wasn't as immediately hooked as I thought I was gonna be. Now, mind you, I was still coming back for every episode for the first season, but when the first season ended, I thought that it was one of the biggest cliche endings that I'd seen in a while. And I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to come back for the second season or not. Now mind you, at this point, the only show I was watching consistently, other than Power Rangers of course, was Sons of Anarchy. And that wrapped up I think around season 4 or season 5 of Walking Dead. So I think, I think Sons went for like seven seasons maybe, something like that. But So they stopped in like the height of Walking Dead. But that was the only show I was really watching consistently at the time. And I don't know, I just, now I guarantee I did have a ton of free time to watch a bunch of TV. But I was really starting to get into video games around this time. So Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, like all that stuff. And I was still in the kind of riding my bike around with friends. Well, actually, no. No, if this was 2010, then I definitely wasn't doing that anymore. This was when, this was when I, this was around when I broke my fingers. I broke both my pinkies at the same time. Story time for another day. Um, but, so I watched Walking Dead when I didn't want to go outside and didn't want to hang out with friends. It was in like a transition period between uh, middle schools, I think when I was getting like bullied and stuff so I was like inside watching TV all the time eat my feelings you know all that all that so we've got we've all gone through that so I was doing that around the same time this came out but uh, if you guys follow Walking Dead on Twitter you know that they decided during the hiatus they are going to do other reaction compilations of previous episodes of The Walking Dead so I figured why not go check out the pilot again so after the whole fiasco I went through with the claim and the strike and all that nonsense, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be editing this heavily. So I'm not I don't I don't want to trust me, but like I I'd, I'd be fine putting up the whole hour and four minute long episode, but I ain't trying to get another strike. <laughs> so. I actually, now that I think, um, when season 9 was coming out, I reacted to all of the previous trailers. I might put those up. I might edit those and put those up, because I did it either right 
up leading up to the season nine trailer or season nine premiere one of the two but i reacted to all of them and i didn't get a chance to edit them and like upload them and stuff but since since it's the hiatus right now i might go do that i might edit those after i watch the pilot again i figured since we had rick grimes last episode recently what better way to reflect on the last eight and a half years of the walking dead then check out the pilot again buckle in for all the feels and without further ado let's check this episode out Bye. oh when they did that comparison to episode 100 with Carl and they showed all this that was awesome Sheriff Rick Grimes from the King County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> what a way to start a pilot. Like, if you hadn't seen the trailers, you have no idea what's going on. The hat. Oh, dude, I just keep, can't stop thinking of quotes of the show. He barely fit that sheriff's jacket. I might react to that comparison with Carl after this. Because it's so cool. But yeah, this is about one to three months after it started it's like the pov camera it's kind of confusing kind of put you in the put you in his shoes Ugh. bodies aren't fully decomposed just flies starting to form all over the place oh god seven knives in a tree the fact that she's still holding her stuffed animal is so eerie don't be afraid okay little girl even with the pilot, dude. The makeup and special effects on this look so good. I'm like, even just looking at her, you're like, what happened? She's covered in bullet holes. Ugh. Oh. Blood doesn't look fantastic, but that is one hell of a way to start a show. I'm not skipping this intro, hell no. I might do a few jump cuts here and there so that I don't get copyright claimed, but that's, uh, oh my god, dude. Chandler Riggs, Steven Yoon, <sighs> Galen, oh, Frank Darabont, Charlie Adler, Robert Kirkman. Dun. The Walking Dead started it all. I never met a woman who knew how to turn off a light. Born Jesus, thing to switch, to such a masochist, dude. I stripped blinds, second to leave the room. Because my chromosomes happen to be different, as I then gotta walk through that. Rick's line. like, bro, Every are you seeing? This chick left on. Maybe we wouldn't have so much global warming. Andrew Lake is trying so hard to not bust oh, out yeah. laughing. And that's when the exorcist voice pops out. You sound just like my dad, father. <laughs> Always, always oh about my god. Tell me to turn off the damn light. <laughs> a lot of us have a friend like Shane. It would be bad. Yeah, go with the, uh... Where the Rick of the group is like, dude, you you got to be respectful. Like, come on. Everything I say makes her impatient. Like, she didn't want to hear it after all. It's like she's pissed at me all the time, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's <laughs> just shit couples go through. Yeah. Looking back on it now, you wonder, I'm not going to make assumptions here, but you wonder, were, were Shane and Lori a thing before the accident? The last thing she said I don't know. Funny. Sometimes I wonder if you even care about us at all. Oh my God. <laughs> she said that in front of our kid. Little old car. School with that in your head. He was just worrying about what he was gonna do for recess, man. I don't think he was thinking about that. Between men and women. There's a I lot. Never say something that cruel to her. Believe it or not, Rick, some men are that cruel. Imagine how different things would have been. They would have just finished that burger and fries, man. We're in a whole different world, man. Whole different world. Officer Shane Walsh. Oh boy. High speed car chase now. Normally we don't see police chases like this even in police shows until like the season finales. This is the pilot for this TV show. 
We're already seeing a high-speed police chase. I bet Rick is the kind of guy that parallel parts to show off, like my dad. <laughs> Love you, dad. Hey, we'll get on one of the video shows, you know, like world's craziest police cases. What do you think? What I think we own is you need to stay focused. And make sure you got a round in the chamber and your safety off. Okay, dude, I could like quote this whole episode. I gotta, st I gotta prevent myself from doing that though. Obviously, he didn't know how the safety worked. Would be kind of cool getting on one of them shows. Damn it, Shane! Try to focus here. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, like, who? Okay. Even if you are trying to like evade police, who swerves in both lanes when you got ditches on both sides? Like, come on now. Gee, okay, that cop was spinning that wheel a little, a little quick. I was gonna say, you mean to tell me he didn't see the spikes in the road, but it was, it was a little bit of a hill. I get it. it does seem like a bit of a dramatic crash, though. Like, almost flip forward, sliding sideways, then barrel rolls like nine times. Oh god, there's like blood flying out. I like how they shot it though, so you couldn't technically see if the car was empty or not, though. Holy shit. Goddamn right, Shane. Holy shit. I love how many times all of them miss. Look at these. All those shots. Oh. And this guy's just firing his 12 gauge out of just randomly. He had better cover than the other guy, though. He had the whole car, but nah. Pretend bruised rib, at least. Me too. Alright, so where did he get tagged? Can you, can you believe that? There was a third man. Alright. Okay, so he gets tagged just under his shoulder blade. Okay, so we see that. You think there's an ambulance down here? You tell there's an officer down you do it now. This is when you got the, the first sense of how close they were. But alright, so... There's, there's one little thing that I nitpick when I watch the pilot, and it's that his wound mysteriously changes locations. So he's pushing up here, you know, upper shoulder, or sorry, it wasn't his right shoulder, it was his left shoulder, but still. So it's the back of his left shoulder blade up here. I love how this is shot, too, to make it seem all disorienting. They hope you come back real soon. Notice how he said, they hope you come back real soon. I had a feeling he's already sleeping with Lori here. Imagine not physically drinking water for like one to three months. It's gotta be rough. Like, yeah, he's getting fluids through the IV. And if you look, that's a pretty big IV bag, so. Oh, dude, the parallels with this and episode 100 and then his last episode. That's so cool. That vase is something special. Imagine how scary that is, though. But yeah, okay, so the so now look at look at where his bandage is. His bandage is wrapping just around like the armpit nipple area by like his rib cage, where he first got tagged. And his shoulder area is just mysteriously healed now. When I explain that, he can get shot in his lower back. Alright, come on, Rick. There's no one there, Rick. How malnourished you are, man. I know there were some people that were like, how oh, does the sink still work? And hospitals usually have backup generators and, <gasps> excuse me, all that stuff. One thing that saved him that whole time, Shane putting that in front of the door. I like the way that we got flashbacks. I don't know if we got any in season one, but in season two we got some flashbacks of the hospital and Shane going there and all that stuff. It's back in 2010. iPhones and smartphones weren't really that big. So, you couldn't rely on, like, phone flashlights as much. Had to more so rely on matches. Flashlights. Actual flashlights. Oh, my God. This is the first time we see, like, true gore with this. I'm like, what's that on the ground? They show his expression. And then when we first see it, we realize it's just picked over bones. Oh, I remember seeing that at 13. I was like, oh, my God! The iconic shot. Hallway. Ceiling caving in. The sheer carnage, dude. Don't dead. Open inside. Oh my god! Rick looks so shook. Oh, those fingers! 
nails. Ugh. Nasty. I'm getting the hell out of here. Rick, if the phone doesn't work, the elevator sure as shit's not gonna work. Fun fact, in the comics, he actually meets a walker in here. And they topple down the stairs to... You good? He meets a walker in this stairwell, and they topple down the stairs together in the comics. I was so sure when I first watched this that one of the times that he struck a match... There was going to be a walker, like, right in his face, and we're like, ah, and we're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Out of everywhere in the hospital, the stairwell is the one place that's, like, crystal clean. Okay. Don't go into that, Rick. Oh, my God. It's making me look angelic. Get out of here. Oh, could you imagine the stench? <sighs> Dude, I'm crippled and brought to my knees when one of my dogs farts. <laughs> I would not be doing well right now with about 80 to 200 rotting corpses just in front of me. I don't know, Rick didn't get like an infection or something, man. You know, like hold your breath or what? Oh, you look so scared. <laughs> It almost doesn't even look like the same Rick. There's so many. I mean, look on the bright side. At least they put all those down. Could have just walked out the door and would have been, would have been like a Shane Otis situation, man. You gotta wonder though, would the military really not be able to help in a situation like this? Like, would they really not be able to contain things? I don't know, man. Oh. Bicycle Girl, one of the first webisode series I actually saw. <laughs> so shook. <laughs> that was just me, but he seems like he's just riding that bike like a tard. He's riding it like with his forearms. I mean, she left his toothbrush. Carl. Carl. Our first, our first couple corals. Rick. Oh. I'm getting all Even in his first appearance as this character, he sold the hell out of it. Wait, why is the mailbox overflowing? Is like the, the mailman keep delivering mail? <laughs> oh, wait, he means. Morgan and Dwayne in his f own front yard? I forgot. I didn't think... So you think... You'd think if they were living that close that he would have recognized them. <laughs> Good God. Oh, Morgan. Did you say something? I thought I heard him say something. You got me, Carl. So you know they don't talk. But you won't. You tell me. Or I will kill, kill you. The second I see him laying in that bed, all I think about are the bad lip readings. He's laying there asleep. And he's, look, he's like talking with Morgan. And Morgan looks over and he's like, You think you're black. And Rick's like, I'm black, yeah. Brother, you got skin like an English kid. Well, I don't like coffee, but you eat a bagel. <laughs> Why do I know those by heart? Oh. This is an unhealthy obsession. It's okay, though. At least I'm not alone. I know you guys are with me there, hopefully. <laughs> Dwayne's trying to bash his fucking head in. Oh, my God. The bandage changed now. It's pretty rank. It was. Ranky dank. Gunshot. Gunshot? What else? Anything? <laughs> Gunshot ain't enough. And you answer. As far as I know. Hey, just let me. What you touch me for? I will kill you with it, and don't you think I won't? <laughs> Exposition man! You weren't no man. What the hell was that out your mouth just there? 
It wasn't a man. You shot him. It was not a it was not a man. In English, it was a walker. First time we hear Walker. I really hope that we get a spin on Michonne's comic arc with Dwayne and Morgan. I think that'd be really cool. Whether whether it's the movies or something with you know, with Maggie Commonwealth, something. We see, you know, like a poster or whatever. It's like, have you seen my dad or my daddy or whatever? And it's a picture of Morgan. And then we find out Dwayne's alive. We didn't technically see Dwayne die. We heard the story, but we never saw it. Now, I mean, it, this is definitely far-fetched, but the fact that Morgan was talking about people wearing dead people's faces could have been a coincidence, but it could have been the Whispers. Who knows? Maybe Dwayne's a Whisperer right now. Maybe he got kidnapped. Maybe they made him into a... You never know. We shall see. Probably not, though, but we shall see. I love the way that they set up kind of the horror and the mystery that revolved around the walkers at first. I don't know. It's it's just they did a really good job because they had them. We learned along with the characters at first. And that was really kind of that was something I hadn't really had with the TV show before is kind of we were learning what was going on at the same time that the characters in the show were, or at least with Rick. I think that's why we all resonated with Rick so much at first, because Morgan was kind of like the, he's like, like think of it like a, like a video game or something. He's like the elder that comes in and kind of like educates you a little bit. And then we're, we're kind of in Rick's shoes and we're learning what's going on, you know, how to deal with things and how it sort of progressed to the point where we didn't really need to worry about um, kind of, like, we knew what walkers were, we knew how to get rid of them, and then it was more so just learning how to deal with things as time went on. So, like, in, so like right now was when the, like, the car alarm goes off, and they're panicking, and went off a few minutes. it's just, it's, they did a really good job kind of pacing the show, and how season nine kind of restarted everything, in that we know what we're doing, we know what walkers are, we know how to take them down, we know how to deal with them, and now it's time for something else, something after. We gotta rebuild civilization. And the fact that the whispers are now being introduced, it's at a perfect time because everyone alive now, they know what's going on. They can't, they, to be alive six to eight years, depending on how long the time frame was before, we really, everyone that's around now, they know what's going on and they know how to survive. She's here. And, so to throw something into it like the whispers that changes everything it's perfect timing oh and this was so sad this was back when when darabont was kind of leading things with um walkers potentially having some memory left in them how she comes to the front door and tries to turn the handle some scary stuff and then there's a scene in uh episode two of this season guts where it shows a walker down in that convenience store with, you know, Andrea, Morales, everybody that's holding a boulder, smashing the glass. And I'm like, I don't recall, I don't recall walkers holding, holding, uh, rocks and stuff and using them to bash through windows. But like, look at her. She looks like a person. Like she's looking like trying to, oh, like the, even though like Darabont, oh, that's such an amazing shot. He definitely didn't overdo it. He did it just enough where you're like, wait, wait, what are they doing? She's turning the handle? They're bashing the glass? Like, oh, so much good stuff. Sorry. It was a little bit of a rant, but not a rant, but you know what I mean. It's going to come back to bite you in the ass, Morgan. We all learn that later. She's the mother of my child. She's the mother of your child and supposedly the mother that ate your child. Oh, that iconic shot. I love how... <laughs> back in season one and two the walkers would just like chill sometimes just like take naps and stuff <laughs> this gave me uh dawn of the dead vibes or Sh <laughs> shawn of the dead i feel like there was a combination of both mental and physical pain so he was just bashing in someone's head that he used to think was a person only a mother would take photo albums i am packing survival gear she's grabbing photo <laughs> Jeez, Rick, you got a lot of keys. You got a boat? Some ATVs, all this stuff? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. 
What'd you say, Dwayne? Thank you. You were such a kind kid, man. Part of me you hopes he's still around. You pull the trigger, you have to mean it. Always remember that, Dwayne. Yes, sir. He was so respectful, too, man. That CGI blood, though. Oh, the road again. Really need to toot the siren? Come on, man. I remember when I first watched this, I wasn't really sure what Rick was doing. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh. Really make us feel for him. This is such a great pilot. Oh, just the trail in the grass. Intestines hanging out. Femur. Spine. Oh, it sounded like he was praying. Bad for Dwayne. Oh, I love that. That that like reversed scope adjustment. Like the camera's on him is like after you take a shot and like hold your breath for a shot, and it like the scope sway. Oh dude. Masterful shots. I'm sorry this happened to you. If you've seen the webisodes, you know how true that is. Come on, Morgan, you can do it. She have to look in the scope directly back like, Honey, please don't do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Morgan. Oh shit, like a thunderstorm. Okay, that thunderstorm in 102 doesn't seem as out of the blue as I thought it was. Hello, can you hear my voice? Oh, Dale, Amy. Hey, hello. Oh my God, it's Shane. Some calls still in the air. I like that they had Carl's little, uh, the comic book, like the shirt that it, like they made that shirt for him. That's so cool. There are others. And who the hell would you propose we send? I'll go. Give me a vehicle. Nobody goes anywhere alone, you know that. Yeah, a lot of good you having a vehicle has done, Lori. Hey, 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 hey. Go going to take a seat, bud. Yeah, right, go on. Carl was so stiff when he ran there. Were you pissing me? Okay. Okay. Pissing me off. You could at least button more than two thing. buttons, Shane. Okay. Okay. You tell me okay. <laughs> God, they all probably smell so bad. Big yikes. This, this was nasty. <sighs> I'm with you there, Rick. That's uh, that's some ranky dank stuff. Easy now, easy. <sighs> Couldn't you just left him alone, Rick? He was living his life, Proposing. secure. This nice little pen. Kind of safe there. Yeah. Clean. Safe. Shelter, people. No horses too, I bet. No, there's not other horses anywhere near there. You're just leading him to his awfully gruesome death. God, this show has killed more horses than any other show I've ever seen. Horses horses got some uh, got some revenge on us though in nine oh five. I had enough of Rick's shit. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know what I know what you guys have been doing to us all this time. Killing you kill a couple of us every season, man. Screw you. It's your turn. 
<laughs> I'm just like, oh, easy. easy I can't. I can't be that mad at the horses, though, man. We've been screwing them over for a while. It was about time that they took some uh, took some revenge on us. Toss Rick onto that rebar. Oh, the road again. This is such an iconic shot. He's like, nah, man, let's turn back. Send some danger ahead. 905 really had some really good callbacks. Again, like I said, I think it's hilarious that <laughs> the walkers just like used to sit and just kind of chill and be like, oh, hey, someone's here. <laughs> All right, let's go. I like how that one walker, the one that just stood up there, that one shows up like four times. It's just a few. Nothing we can't outrun. It's just a few. Nothing we can't outrun. You say that now. Oh, God. That dude's face was ripped apart. Nasty. Dude, that MG still had a lot of ammo sitting there. Oh, shit. I forgot. We see the helicopter in the pilot. Damn, Jadis' people have been following Rick a long ass time. Shit. The test subject is awake now. Oh god. I've been waiting to show you guys this. There is a walker in that background that is drinking water. And I think it's hilarious. Okay, hold up. Alright, I don't know if it shows my mouse on here. It doesn't. Okay, so if you look... If you look, so it's it's like right here, right under this lamppost. If you look right here, that extra is drinking water. Get, come on, right, right there. Yeah, he's drinking water. Come on, you had to ruin the shot, man. I get it. It's Georgia. It's hot. I understand. But did you really? Right when they say action, I had to be like, oh, action. <laughs> time to take a drink no you didn't come on man i think it's kind of funny though it is pretty funny go 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 that one in the there was one in the back there that looked like he was wearing a mask and i know like most of them are but like like a michael myers whisper kind of mask like oh there's a couple in there if you look they look like they look like whisper masks dude poor horse oh I don't know how he didn't get bit, man. Ah, uh, oh, the this disorienting slow mo. This dude, I was so stressed when I first saw this. I'm like, is this just gonna be a show where we lose people 24/7? No way! It ended up being like that. But I was like, dude, there's no way he is making it out of this. Rick, that's a magnum. It only has six shots. Glory, Coral. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude. This is another point when I was like, sh shook. <laughs> God. The, f the way they shot that in the editing, so good. A lot of shows would have just had him shoot and be like, whoa, that was a close one, and not dealt with the fact that that would have deafened you. Well, maybe you should close the top, Rick. Oh, look. Bag of guns. And then we see our, uh, our friendly buddy over there. He's so mad. Brock, close that shit. If only Glenn would have just imagine how different things would have been if Glenn would have just been like just like taking a look been like Nah, nah, I'm good, man. And <laughs> just kind of just been like, nope, not today, sir. <laughs> just let him go. Oh, yikes. 
Some of those CGI walkers are a little rough, man. But that bird's eye view shot, again, iconic. I love that they use the same song. Wow. All right, well, there you have it. That was the pilot for AMC's The Walking Dead. It's been a while, but I still remember it, man. I still remember it. I love the description for it. Rick searches for his family in a world terrorized by The Walking Dead. Morgan and Dwayne help teach Rick the new rules for survival. All right, well... I thoroughly enjoyed revisiting the pilot. I wasn't sure that I would, but I definitely did. I am going to try to get to editing that sooner rather than later. Hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. And I apologize in advance for how much I had to cut this down. Because I'm not trying to get another claim or strike. I know how much you all love the pilot as much as I love the pilot. I'm not trying to risk that, so... Maybe someday I'll try uploading larger versions of some of this stuff to, like, my Google Drive or Patreon or something. I don't know. I just don't have the time right now to edit them two different ways. So, yeah. I'm sorry for the huge gap in videos, by the way. That was not intentional, but... As always, hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't revisited the show, I highly suggest you do that because it is a trip. Very worth going on a second time. As always, this has been Jack from Group of Gamers Inc. 194, and I'm out. Peace. Bah. It's puberty for you, man. It's, it's, a, it's a dangerous beast. Gregory? Piece. Oh, no, the mutiny. Right. Here we go. Uh, you guys ready for the cringe? I'm not ready. And my face is probably gonna turn red on my shirt. And then uh, I don't I don't wanna I don't know if I wanna get that one up yet. Nuts. Why not? Why not? I'm already giving up everything else. <laughs> you can't tease us with the whispers like that. Come on! Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> Holy fucking...